I want you to learn this today. How you feel should never determine where you feed. How you feel should never determine where you are feasting. How you feel should never determine where you are sitting. You may be feeling like a dead dog but God says I want to position you at my table. That means with the way you feel you act what God says and you will see that your feelings will take a back seat and we see what happened with Mephibosheth is that the properties of his father all of them was restored to Mephibosheth because he acted not on his feelings but on the word of the king not only that we see when he was seated at the king's table his lame legs his crippled legs they were covered by the table and nobody saw except him and the king that Mephibosheth was crippled when you begin to stop acting on how you feel but start acting on what God says about you you will begin to see that you will no longer be conscious and people will no longer be conscious of your infirmity of your situation and your past or your background they will see you as a different person because you will present yourself as a different person when our Lord Jesus Christ faced a Lazarus tomb and the Bible says that everybody cried and groaned Jesus Christ he says this as he groaned inside that means the tone of his voice his emotional his facial expression changed and the Bible says the shortest verse in the Bible Jesus wept he emotionally got down to the level that he was in he was crying he was broken he was shattered emotionally Jesus was connecting with where people were but what I love Jesus for is not only that he feels the emotions is that he's not led by emotions because you see in the next verse he says show me where you buried him and you would think oh he wants to go see by the by the grave and just cry more he wants to go and just groan more but he comes to the grave and he says remove the stone why would you say that because Jesus felt one thing he acted completely on a different level see you can feel the level of death make sure you act on the level of life you can feel the level of depression make sure you act on the level of God's promise you can have tears rolling down your eyes confusion filling down your mind you can have emotions raging against you but when all of that is done you said I know who I am I know who is behind me and who lives inside of me his name is the Holy Spirit You can have prognosis, symptoms raging in your body and tears rolling down your eyes and your heart be confused but your heart is submitted to the Word of God and God's Word settles everything. Can somebody say Amen? I want to challenge each person this morning. How you feel has very little to do with your future. You can feel like a dead dog. You can feel like you don't have ideas for your future. You can feel like your finances will never change. You can feel like your future in relationship will never change. But God says, I want to be good to you because Jesus paid a heavy lofty price on the Calvary. And God says, allow me to be good to you by not imprisoning your future to the predicament of your mindset today. Set free your mind to dream with God set free your mind to be on the level of God's promise not on the level of your situation or on the level of your feelings and when you set your mind free and you say I'm crippled and you say I am from the place of no pasture I've been traumatized but in my mind I let it out and I say God I'm gonna be at the king's table he prepares me a table in the presence of my enemies in the presence of sickness God says come up sit down let's eat you say but Lord the enemy is staring at me do you see the dirty looks the enemy is giving to me and God says keep eating keep feeding keep feeding keep eating why and drive the devil nuts and if he can't stand you blessed give him a chair